retaguardia. Retaguardia. Okay. Reta guardia. Reta, ok, so let's Who be to work? Reta, le debo retar. Guardia, like a guard. The guard. The, this is it. So, so yeah, I know. So, Challeng, challenge, challenging the guard. Yeah, no, challenging the guard. That's true. So the, the verb retar is to is to challenge somebody. Mm -hmm. uh, un reto is a challenge. Guardia is guard. A guard. For example, the the civil guard, the guardia civil in Spain, the mm -hmm. civil guard. Um, now, if you combine those two words, I think that's quite a difficult thing. Um, I've also I've heard this word before, but in a military context. So in the context of the army, so mm -hmm. you, you hear about the retaguardia of, I don't know, any kind of, uh, for example, in the situation just now with Ukraine, no, and Ukraine mm -hmm. and Russia, you hear that word quite a lot on the, on the news. Um, I'm trying to think, could you maybe use it in a sentence for me? Uh, or could you give me an example of something? Yeah, you can say, for example, la retaguardia es la parte más importante del equipo. Mm, ok, la retaguardia, and it's feminine, la retaguardia sí. es la parte más importante del equipo. Mm, ok, now I'm going to have a guess, uh, we don't use this word in English in football so much, but in the military sense, I believe it is rear guard, rear guard, rear guard. Now the rear guard is like the, the part behind the, the main army. So the rear guard mm -hmm. is it's almost like the back line of the of the army. So I think in a football sense, it would probably be the defensive line. Is that the correct way to say it? Like the thaga, maybe? Is that your answer? Yeah, let's go for it. <laughs> yes, of course, the, the defender. The defender is la retaguardia del equipo. Is la, es la defensa. La parte mm -hmm. más de atrás. Y efectivamente es un término militar que pues, digamos que, que digamos que avanza de la parte trasera, que se mantiene más alejada del enemigo. Cubre el sí. movimiento del ejército en marcha o en operaciones. Very good. La zona más alejada del frente. That's it, yeah. So, in English, we don't say the rear guard so much. In, in the army um, context, we would say rear guard. Absolutely. Rear, R-E-A-R. Guard, like guardia. Um, sí. In football, we would probably say the back line or the defensive the line. line. The defender, defender line. Y de hecho, retaguardia en español se puede utilizar para muchos otros conceptos ya no militares. O sea, la retaguardia es como la parte de atrás. Cubre la, mm. cubre la retaguardia, es cubre lo de atrás, siempre. Ok, so you can use it in a figurative sense as well, not just a, a literal sense of an army or a football team or a rugby team. You can use it in a, 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 a figurative sense as well. That's interesting. Yeah, the, the rear guard, the, the crossover, it's almost the same. But again, I would say the defensive line, the back line, you could maybe say as well, uh, depending on the numbers of the players, you could say the back three, the back four, the back five, etc. That would be how you would say retaguardia in English. Fantastic. Okay, good start <laughs> for me. 